The most important message that I think Paul and I are passionate about is conservation, generally of wildlife, but in particular sharks. It is Shark Week and both of us have been diving for years and we've noticed that the population of sharks and fish generally has been decimated across the world. So we wanted to show that the myth that if you fall in the water, uh, if you're shipwrecked, uh, you're going to be completely devoured almost immediately by these man-eaters. That isn't real, despite that being portrayed like that in the movies. So we thought if we could spend some time in the water, like a shipwreck survivor, we could demonstrate that, that actually the biggest threat to you is the elements and not the sharks. So that's what, that's what the story is based on. The biggest challenge for me is not getting bitten by sharks. So initially just the, the realization striking you immediately after our boat blows up that you're stuck in the water. There's no land, there's no shelter, there's no food, there's no water, there's no protection. It's just you and another guy that you barely know <laughs> drifting through the, the wild Atlantic. It, it was a daunt. Up until that point, I really hadn't thought too hard about it. I just thought, I can't let the British guy have all the glory. So obviously my, my Australian courage struck me to action. But so much, the, the food and the water was probably the least of our worries up until the very end. Um, exposure, the heat, the cold, the sharks, the, we, we had almost a perfect storm around us at one point. And uh, I think they show it in the, in the program, a uh, radar picture of the red, uh, red being very intense storm activity and lightning strikes and we're absolutely surrounded. So it, it was quite a lot to deal with. And then you move into night time and you can't see the sharks and they get braver. And then there's a chum slick through the water at the same time pushing them into a predatory mode. So it was an absolute onslaught the whole time. 